Welcome to the Tokarev TX3 12 HD pump action shotgun unboxing and I will cover all of its good parts and the very few bad parts honestly. So sit back and enjoy and it is a great shotgun. Hello fellow YouTubers it is Jbo here once again with a Tokarev TX3 12 HD unboxing. This is a really cool shotgun and we're just going to get right into it. This is the box it comes in and I am going to do this in kind of a uh, strange format. I, you can't see my camera rig here but trust me it's it's pretty hilarious. But anyway I'm using a guitar stand and uh, electrical tape so high-tech operation. Anyway, we're going to do an unboxing. I just got back from the gun store doing the FFL and background check. And uh, so anyway, let's just get right into this. Uh, this is going to be probably a little bit long of a video because there's a lot of stuff to discuss on this. So what we're going to do is obviously unbox it and open this up. And look what they did. First of all, the shotgun itself. All right, I looked at it at the store. Uh, this is walnut, it's Turkish walnut. And look at this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous piece of wood that they sent me. I mean, come on, really? Paid $200 for this shotgun, brand new, from Battlehawk Armory. And I saw another one for $196 elsewhere. And I was just hoping for a good piece of wood. And it looks like I got it. And this is how it came in the box. And um, the first thing we want to notice is this absolutely gorgeous piece of wood. I have not wiped this down yet with an oil rag and that rubber will get black when I do. Right now it's just, everything's dry. There's not a whole lot of factory oil on here, though you see a couple of smidges of it. And we have these, first I'll go over the features. This is a standard, kind of like Remington 870 copy. Um, I guess you want to call it. It's got a nice stylish pit guard. It is a 5 plus 1, even though there's a couple of promotional videos online that say it is 4 plus 1, it is not, it's 5 plus 1. That was the SDS Imports promo guy misquoting what it actually has for round capacity. So anybody that has a Remington 870 style shotgun should be familiar with this. There's no learning curve. And uh, the pick guard is plastic, but it's stylish and looks nice. And it's got a nice rectangular safety, which I thought was kind of cool. Functions, it has the red is dead, typical. And I have seen people online complain about the trigger pull on this and I just don't see it. It's actually easier than my H&R partner, Remington 870 copy security model it's actually got a better trigger than that so i'm very happy with this so anyway we do have these uh, ghost sight on here ghost ring it seems to be adjustable up and down and side to side windage which is very nice and it's built into the rail and i believe they they claim to have a trademark on that it's called the Ghost Rail. So Tokarev actually has a trademark claim on that. So anyway, your standard rail is on here, which you can put your optic on there if you want to. And you're probably thinking, why would you want to put an optic on a smoothbore shotgun? Well, this one comes with three chokes. And they are Benelli-styled chokes. I know there's a couple different Benelli-style chokes, so I'm not sure which one fits this or not. Uh, it doesn't really say in the manual. 
but that's an easy thing to research online. And my favorite feature of this is the heat shield. This resembles a trench gun. And why is this important? We've all seen the heat shields aftermarket sold. They always come up short, like right here, and they have a couple of screws, bolts, that clamps it on. And to be honest with you, they look pretty bad. And they're polymer. And even when you get the metal ones, they don't go all the way up to the front sight. Now you'll notice on this, this heat shield goes all the way up to the very tip of the front sight. And it's a metal heat shield. So that is very impressive. And that was the main selling point for me. I wanted the heat shield. I wanted the trench gun look. And the trench gun has a heat shield that goes all the way up. So basically what they did was they took an old design, kind of made it modern looking. And uh, kind of a, a steampunk kind of motif, I guess you'd call it. So anyway, as you can see, this is a nice piece of walnut. It's Turkish walnut. It's got some nice wavy grain in it. It feels very good. And it functions. I did check this already to make sure that it is clear. But we will check it anyway. So that's clear. And uh, the trigger, as stated, is nice. I like it. You can do a nice nice pull rack for rapid fire. It's very smooth. Brand new, have not really I haven't put any rounds through it and it's already smooth. So I already know I'm going to enjoy this immensely. It also disassembles very easily. And we also have a nice glowing front sight. How cool is that? And as stated, uh, has, let's see if I can get a nice shot of that. It's got the choke installed tightly, I might add. It's not loose. And so we're gonna go over the length of this just to show you some of the features. You got a nice rubber butt pad, good quality, with uh, two holes in it, obviously, to unscrew and remove the stock if you need to. And we have this nice sling loop, which is wide, so you can get one of those nice replica leather straps used in combat back in the day to get your retro look and we get this nice, beautiful wood, which is what I'm really happy with. I'll go over the fit and finish in a minute. I've seen a couple of people online uh, complain. And I'm like, well, $200, you could do worse. So anyway, uh, it feels like a quality shotgun. And we have the spring-loaded loading gate which functions very well. I did run uh, some rounds through it without firing, just in the house. And so we can see, um, the manufacturing is very nice. There's no rough marks. Everything feels smooth through here. Everything seems to be machined well. And what I did notice is uh, the wood is standing up a little proud here and not so much here. So it's, it's almost like the stock needs to be turned a little bit, which I'll probably do. Uh, because if you look at this side, you can see how that's flush there, but it's not here. So it just seems like it needs to come this way a smidge. So when they put it together, it's cockeyed. So that's a factory fit and finish uh, flaw that an inspector should have seen, but that's easily remediable. And I will fix that uh, probably after we uh, finish filming this, but I want to show you out of the box what you can expect. That's really not a big deal. That's nothing really. 
And as far as any pitting, now we had somebody leave a comment on my trailer video saying that there was some factory pitting that they could see and they weren't happy with that. And I'm not seeing anything like that on here. This is uh, very nicely done with a nice piece of wood. And we'll move up to the front here where you get your standard cap for your magazine tube. Now, the interesting thing about this is I got the TX3 extension. Just comes in a box. No directions or anything. But it is a mag tube extension. And you'll see the little plastic plug fall out in the box. That's uh, to put in the end cap here. It's got a lip that holds it in. So basically this will go on here. When the video is done, I'll put it on. And it's a tube extender, obviously. So you can have that one extra round and flush with the tip of the bore. And I also ordered a bayonet lug from the SDS Imports website. And we'll mount that when it comes. And I also ordered a bayonet, which is an M7 style. So you can put an M7 on here, an M9 style, or anything that you could mount on an M16 in Vietnam. Basically the newer military style, which I think they're still using M7 bayonets and M9s even today. And that will fit on here nicely for the bayonet lug. And on the SDS Imports website, the bayonet lug is 25 bucks. Okay, I mean, you can't beat that. This was 25 bucks. And I put this on a Remington uh, copy, and by the H&R Pardoner pump, and this fit on there also. So if you want a magazine tube extension that for a Remington style, where they're not gonna charge you 80 to $100 like you see online, um, go to the SDS website and uh, 25 bucks. So we have that wide sling loop on this also, which coincides with the back one. So you could put that nice retro style leather strap uh, sling like you've seen in combat videos and things like that. So that is very awesome. So now we're gonna run down the backside of the gun. And again, we got a nice piece of wood, which will look nice when I run an oil rag on it. And it's a nice matte finish, which is uh, kind of polishing itself right here, riding in the box, being shipped, I assume. So basically you pop this pin and you pop this pin out with a punch and you can remove the trigger group and service that if you need to or clean it. Very easy to maintain shotgun. Uh, basically, you uh, do like you would with any other one like this. You put the put the halfway the bolt, unscrew the magazine cap, and then you can pull on the barrel, and it comes right off. And the forend forearm will come right off as well with the uh, bolt carrier attached to it. It all comes apart easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's really about all I have to say about this because it's pretty self-explanatory that it is a very simple, classic, vintage shotgun design. And it functions nicely. I'm really happy with the action. It's not even disassembled and re-lubed yet. Smooth. So that ain't going to be anything to break in at all. Now, the other things you get in the box, obviously, is your, the owner's manual. He explains the chokes. And uh, yes, I call it a manual. I'm being funny. Or maybe I'm not. So basically, they show you how to disassemble it. All the usual stuff you get in here. The illegal stuff. Uh, but that's nice that they have this choke information in here and how to identify your chokes 
And this does come with three chokes, one installed and two in a box. It has a parts list breakdown like you usually get, parts numbers. Um, they do say that the Remington parts, for the most part, I guess, should be compatible with this. It's probably like the H&R Partner Pump, where it varies by manufacturer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. So it's one of those things. But uh, anyway, that's that. It also came with the magazine insert for hunting purposes a lot of states you're only allowed to use a couple rounds to go hunting with birds or what have you and uh, so anyway they include this with it made out of plastic polymer uh, sometimes you get a wood dowel but doesn't matter i guess and of course we have the uh, safety flag to chamber in there to let you know that it's empty and we have this little case which is like the same case that comes with the Tokarev uh, bullpup that I got recently which I will be making a video on that also uh, semi-auto but this is the same case with the same chokes and we have the choke wrench and we have different various chokes marked with the markings which i believe are uh, modified uh, or partially modified and also the skeet one and i think the skeet choke which is a mild choke is uh installed on it so anyway it's nice to have chokes in a little case that comes with it all for 200 dollars. i mean seriously so anyway i will get this tube extension installed and I will install the bayonet lug and the bayonet and probably make another video for that. Maybe a how-to. Um, but YouTube these days censors that sort of stuff. They don't let you show any customization or alterings. So I probably won't be able to do that. But I can show you once it's all done and talk about what I did. I could do that. And I did cycle um, five rounds. <clears throat> Excuse me, six rounds in here. And you can see a little dent in the case from cycling, but that's kind of normal and it'll have a break in period. And that's really not gonna be a concern. Everything ran smoothly. It ejected very well, very forcefully. And I guess there's really not much more I could say. I just really think this is a fantastic buy. Of course, I haven't shot it yet, but I don't anticipate any problems. I'm pretty experienced with shotguns at this point, and everything seems to run very smooth, and I don't expect to have an issue. So anyway, there it is, the Tokarov TX3 12 HD shotgun uh, from Tokarev, which is brought into the United States from Tokarev through SDS Imports, because SDS is an import company, just like when they do TSASH, and... They, I guess their company policy is they are not going to import stuff that's junk. And I can tell you, this does not feel like junk. And the only thing I saw was that the stock is a little off kilter from the receiver. That's an easy fix. Not a big deal. My heart is not broken. So everything else is fine. Everything's tight the way it should be. The heat shield feels solid on here. And I just really think this is going to be really fun. So thank you for watching and subscribe. Click like if you want to. I am not monetized. So it doesn't benefit me one way or the other. I just like to see somebody liked it. And please leave a comment. Leave a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Um, very tolerant of a lot of views. So my views are not always going to agree with everybody else. That's fine. This is America. That's just how it goes. And uh, so anyway, most importantly, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this.